2010 was heralded for the recovery in the overall stock market from the depths of the Great Recession. Joining me to look at where REITs fit into this picture is Neri, Vice President of Research and Industry Information, Brad Case. So Brad, we saw the overall stock market come up. How did REITs do in 2010? Oh, REITs did very, very well. In fact, the, you know, the, the, the strength in the stock market over the last couple of months of 2010 is very important news for REIT investors because it suggests that the economy seems to be, uh, seems to be getting stronger. We seem to have hit the worst part of this recession. And that, that suggests that operating fundamentals for commercial real estate are likely to get stronger going forward. Reed investors think that they, they do stand to reap the benefits of strong earnings growth over the next few years. But that hasn't been necessary for Reed investors so far. In fact, 2010 was the second year in a row that REIT total returns averaged 27.5% over those two years in a row. Really quite extraordinarily. Um, the domestic stock market uh, returns averaged only uh, returns during 2010 were only 17 and a half percent, and global stock markets were down in the 10, 12 or 13 percent range, depending on how they're measured. And what were the top performing REIT sectors in 2010? Well, the top performing sectors were uh, first of all the apartment sector, very strong uh, demand for apartments from uh, households that are still quite nervous about about the housing market and about mortgage rates. Um, the second uh, strongest performing sector was hotels and lodging uh, REITs. Uh, seeing, seeing really a rebound in demand for both vacation and business travel um, from the worst part of the recession. And the third performing uh, REIT sector was uh, commercial uh, mortgage financing REITs. The strong 2010 performers turned in by REITs have some wondering if the REIT rally is in fact over. Uh, how do you address those concerns? Oh, I think there's not much uh, reason to be, to be concerned about that. Um, first of all, the, the, the reason that some people uh, wonder whether the REIT rally still has legs is that it's just it's just inconceivable that that it, that uh, returns could average more than twenty percent per year. That's actually fairly fairly common in REIT rallies in the in the past. The last two REIT downturns, uh, REIT re, uh, returns were more than twenty percent per year on average through the entire bull market, and both of those lasted more than seven years. We're not even two years into this into this uh, REIT uh, REIT rally. Not only that, but you have to keep in mind that the depth of the of the downturn for REITs was much more severe than historically what we've seen before. The last two REIT downturns, uh, REIT investors lost only about 24%. This time they lost 68%. So the recovery from the depth of that is going to be much stronger. And how do REIT dividend yields fit into that picture? Well, that's actually the other part of the question as to whether REITs, uh, the REIT rally still has legs. Dividend yields are still very, very strong. In fact, mortgage REIT dividend yields are still above 13% on average, even after those two years of, of, of really extraordinarily, extraordinary returns in mortgage REITs. Uh, equity REIT dividend yields are still at 3.5%, low by, uh, by, the, by the historical standards of equity REIT dividend yields, but still quite high compared to essentially any other, 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 any other asset in the market. For more REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com. I'm Matt Bichard. <laughs>